Hello all, welcome to module 1 of the Security Tube Linux Assembly Expert course and certification. Now in module 1, we will look at assembly language basics on Linux systems and we will specifically be looking at 32-bit assembly on Intel architecture. Now before we begin into the nitty-gritty details of assembly language, uh, the first question which of course arises is what is assembly language? Now if I were to quickly summarize what assembly language is, well it's a low-level programming language with which we can communicate directly to the microprocessor. Uh, typically assembly language is very specific to the processor family and has almost a one-to-one -one correspondence with the machine code the processor understands. Now what does all of this mean in a layman's language? Very simply, your processor only speaks machine language which is binary. Unfortunately, we still haven't mastered speaking in binary or machine language. And this is where assembly language basically acts as a bridge. Now, we as humans or as good programmers uh, write what we want the processor to do in assembly language and then we use an assembler and linker which are two programs we will encounter later on in this video series which go ahead and translate your assembly language into machine language which your processor can understand. So this is a very simple illustration. Uh, this entire course is on how do you master this assembly language and have the processor do your bidding. Now if we were to pick up uh, how assembly language is related to more high level languages like C then your C source code file would first go through a preprocessor stage which then passes through the compiler uh, which would output an assembly language file which is an input to the assembler which would give an object file and then the linker would take your object file any other shared libraries etc which are required and then output the actual executable which in the case of Linux would be in the A dot or A dot O, uh, sorry, A dot out format or the L format, and then finally is loaded by a loader for execution, right? Whenever you want to run it. Now, the one of the most important things is unlike high level languages like C and Java, which are very, very portable, assembly language is very specific to the processor family. Uh, and sometimes even between different processors there are instructions uh, which may differ and which are very processor specific. So for example, you know, one of your latest i7 processors may have a couple of assembly language instruction which your older 386 or 486 family may not understand. So what this really means is uh, we need to understand assembly language for a very specific processor and this is not portable. As an example, Intel assembly is very different from ARM assembly which is different from MIPS assembly. Now Intel architecture uh, basically specifies assembly language for two families. One is the IA32 or the 32-bit assembly as it is known and IA64, which is the 64-bit assembly. In this course, we will look at IA32 assembly uh, and see how we can, you know, learn assembly language and run it in programs in the Linux operating system. Now, we will be looking at creating future courses, probably just after this one, where we will look at 64-bit assembly on Linux and then 32 and 64 on Windows and even ARM assembly. Now, if you're asking yourself the question, why learn 32-bit assembly when the world is moving towards 64-bit machines? Uh, then the answer basically is, even today, a large number of machines out there are still running IA32 architectures. 
and without knowing 32 bit assembly it may be difficult to grasp many of the more complicated concepts of 64 bit assembly at the very same time 32 bit shell coding encoders decoders packers uh, anything low level relating to exploit research and reverse engineering is typically very different from what you would encounter in the 64 bit world and hence it is important to understand ia32 in its own right properly before moving on to ia64 and more complicated architectures okay so without further ado let's go ahead and do the very first lab exercise and this is installing ubuntu 12.04 lts 32 bit edition in virtual box right so uh, the solution videos are available only to students so please register for the course to get the solution video this is the first exercise the second exercise is figuring out details about your cpu on the ubuntu system right so how do you know if your third cpu supports 32 or both 32 and 64 bits uh, if your CPU has capabilities such as FPU, MMX, SSC, SSC2, etc. Uh, how do you find out all of these details on your Ubuntu system before we move on to looking at assembly language in more detail? Registered students can download uh, the solution exercises. You would receive it via email and you can have a look at that. So that's all for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one.